Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, still uh, without face cam, but welcome back to Salt and Sanctuary. It's been very, very, very chilly out recently, so my lips have gotten chapped all to hell. Later. Damn you. Ooh, the rust. It's been another few or so days since my uh, last attempt. Shrine right, fear below. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a swing of this boss now with the advent of nice, not bad, not bad. Uh, now with the advent of a little time, I'm gonna take another attempt here. Hmm. So I wonder. Am I doing the right thing by hopping down here? Oh. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, maybe it's the little lights. Uh-oh. Well, there I go. Okay. So one thing that I, I've really started to realize um, is that, um, like, Dark Souls, the original Dark Souls, is way more of an RPG. And, like, that's why some things like Beta Chaos are like they are. They are meant to be puzzles. And, like, they are maybe not necessarily meant to suck. But sometimes games are like that. Games are just like, hey, yeah, it's hard. Fuck you. Deal. And, like, I can respect that in, in a sense of just pure game design. I can respect somebody being like, hey, deal. Okay, so there's all those little lights. Uh-oh. Oh man. Lot of lot of trouble in here, fellas. Dude, really? This is like a real attempt though, that's good. Hmm. Well, this is trouble. Uh huh. Now what happens? Just got me. Snuck it in. Wow, the healing. That... That was weird. That... <laughs> that was weird. Where's my salt? This is good though. I am making progress. I feel I feel good about that. Again, like 
the fire damage is such a problem. Oh, just two normals. That's good. You know I love that. I don't think that I can survive a hit like that. All right. Where's my juice, guys? Tree of Man is such a cool name as well. I feel like Blank of Man is usually like a pretty standard but cool ominous name. Alright, there comes that. Whoops! There goes those. Pardon my lack of speaking, but my mouth is just wide open because I'm like, oh man, oh man. Chomp it, man. Jeez. So apparently I picked a pretty good time to get into salt. Because, uh... I think it was free on the Epic Game Store. I'm not a huge fan of the Epic Game Store, but like, I'm not gonna just turn down free games because of, like, well, I just, I just won't. That's all. Ooh, that was bad timing. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wow. I might it might be good to just max fire defense. Tree of man. Oh, that's the first time he's actually killed me this uh this this run as well. That's good. That does take one uh thing out of the fight. So let's max fire defense. Fire. What I'm getting at here, fellas, is that fire is bad. Okay, I... Normally, you can just say, hey. One set can usually compare... That's a gnarly, cool-looking helm. Uh... Normally, yeah, one set can, like, compare to any other piece of the set, so I'm just gonna go out on limb here and say that Blacksmith's set is probably the primo fire defense. Yep. Let's beat my roll. It's fast, that's good. All right. I wonder if there are any memes about uh, Salt and Sanctuary. I don't mean like internet, like image macros. I mean like Drake Sword and Night Shield um, was a meme in, in Souls. Where like if somebody's a scrub, you can tell because they're using this combination of weapons. Like you see a guy with a... With, uh, the first decent shield that you can just pick up, the night shield. Nice. And you're like, that guy's a scrub. And like the Drake sword is is something of a scrub weapon. It's kind of annoying that the whole thing breaks. Uh, sorry, sir. Was I... Hey, why don't I have my salt back? Oh, man! I thought I got past... I thought the rule was that I got past the thing. Like, you, you, you go past the mark on their, on their health bar. Is the Tree of Man bugged? 
Because apparently a lot of people are also getting crippling save bugs in the uh, Epic Game version. This is not the Epic Game version. I got this on Steam. Um, I actually had this a while ago, and I was like, you know what? I am in the mood for, for some fresh souls. Yeah, maybe the whole, like, maybe the fight is just bugged. Oh man. That was dumb. Why don't you come on over, man? Yeah, I've gotten past his little thing. Oh boy. Okay, I gotta drop more predictively. I'm just getting like pancaked here. Oh yeah, there's three of these. That makes it a lot easier. I don't know why I was only using the two. Uh, that's... Right, that thing. Right, I remember now. That was dumb. Wow, uh, that's, uh, that's not good. Shit. What is the logic? Like... Is it because... Is it just because his health bar has, like... Different stuff on it? Because, like, that's what makes sense to me. I think it's because, like, his health bar isn't going down when you hit him. His health bar goes down whenever uh, you just, like, break the shit off of him. What's more, because you can also, um, hit, like, multiple hit locations at once, I feel like that might be messing with his ability to recognize that damage is being dealt to him. Okay. I should heal.
Oh, surely that can't count, my guy. Okay, so I feel like I was making this harder than it needed to be. Go! Wow, that was lucky. Bring that fist down here, my guy. Okay. You snuck up on me. That might kill me. It's an interesting boss, I'll give them that. Oh, come on. <gasps> that was super cool. That was so anime. And then I broke my legs on the way down. Vanquished. Perfect. Come on. Am I not supposed to get back that way? I imagine that that's not the case, huh? Fuck you too, guys. <laughs> Honestly. Well, let's get this off. Let's get my goodies back on. Do I have any better gloves? Those are all good. But yeah, following up from what I said earlier, like... I feel like dude playing Salt and Sanctuary still wearing the default set, still using the Kure Moa is like probably a meme. What's up, dude? Okay. So, I just beat a boss. I should. What the? F what the hell, guys? Ah, cool. The classic come apart and come back together type of skeleton. Did I get him into like an AI loop? Oh, Jesus. What are you- I'm not even gonna ask. Head up for Sanctuary? This isn't up, I realize. Mm-hmm. Okay, little fight room in there with one of those eye fellas. Oh boy. Now chew. All right. Problem solved. Huh. <sighs> A little unusual. Oh, brother. Big spider. Cool. I don't particularly hate spiders. I'm not an arachnophobe. Love who you want, man. Maybe that's how we do that, right?
Of course, I've got a little problem because there's all this salt in my pocket. And I'm far away from a sanctuary and I don't want to be able- I don't know if I'll be able to get back. Drop spider's tusk. Drop spiders, huh? Like a- like a- I hear that and I think drop bear. That- I- I can't get away from it. I don't know what happened there. Warhorn. Let me just peep that, huh? Oh, yeah, that thing. <gasps> what the hell was that noise? Symbol of affluence. Uh, increases gold find. Makes sense. Oh, jeez. In any game, but especially in uh, Metroidvania. Hi. Hey there. I'm Minty Skill, but some call me Devil Skill the Fearless, Scourge of the Red. That's a long name. Call me Mints. Some shrink in the face of danger. I thrive on it. There are two types of this people in the world. Those who make generalizing statements and those who don't. No, she states that there are harvesters and plants. I'm a harvester. What are you? Harvester, eh? Not good enough. Prove it. Are you a harvester? Not good enough. Plant. Well, go to hell. Okay, now I mentioned, uh, I think in an earlier episode that I was relatively hot off the heels of playing Hollow Knight, but like, does that not look like the Soul Sanctuary? Spoilers for Hollow Knight. I know it came out like four or five years ago by now, but. Hey, how do you guys feel about that? That Hollow Knight is now retro. Maybe I go this, did I go this way? See you later, drop spiders. Can't get me. Wow. <laughs> that is a higher hop than I would imagine. So, let's backtrack. I've got a good amount of food on me. Ah, I see. That's a good way to backtrack then. Uh, yeah, I've got enough food to, I think, justifiably make it out of here. God, that little smiling face is just so creepy. Okay. I think I'm doing this the hard way. Because I think the easy way... I think there was a shortcut. And that going forward in this manner is bad enough. But going backwards in this manner is even worse. You're going to regret it when I... Yeah. Anyway, yeah, those guys are going to regret being mean to me when I get my levels. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now go. 
Was that clang noise? All oh, right, those things. Yeah, again, I feel like I'm making a little bit of a mistake by doing it this way. I, I will never not love a good chain wall jump. God, again. <gasps> Eat. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know if I could hork down a roll after getting punched in the gut. Maybe it's a personal weakness of mine. Yeah, like if I got chariot tackled like that, I don't know if I could just punch down a quick, uh, quick chomp. Yeah, I'll just do this, right? This makes a lot more sense. Oh boy. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, I should have been doing that a while ago. Again, this is the problem with recording anything and then taking a break and then coming back to record some more. There's another thing, and maybe this might even just be a me thing, I don't know. But like, in a game where I play it totally, totally like fresh, I feel like I remember it better than when I record it. Like, uh, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Uh, my wife just shook some fried chicken in my face, so I'm going to cut this a little shorter than I would a, a typical episode, but I'm going to get back to where I was at least. I beat that thing, though. That's cool. But yeah, like, um, I played, uh, obviously I played Dark Souls a lot, and like, I feel like after my first, I only did, um, Lost Isleth normally once. And I feel like I still remember all of the nooks and crannies of Lost Isolith, even though I hate Lost Isolith and I only played it like that once and I played it any other way every other time. All right, where am I pushing? I don't think I'm getting endurance. Can I gray pearl this? I can. <laughs> Interesting. Was I pushing to like here? I think I was. That's super interesting. That you can unbuy prerequisite skills and items. Nice. Nice. All right, I'm feeling good about that. I'll tell you that for free. Anyway, so yeah, I like I remember Lost Isleth well, and like I don't do Lost Isleth any Lost Isleth anymore. I usually like. Do the uh, I, I skip the area or I skip the area using the shortcut available elsewhere, or I just like do the area in front of it. Like I do the demon ruins, and then I don't do the rest of Lost Isolith, and I just ignore everything else in that area because like I don't want to mess with it. But like 
I still remember every single nook and cranny of that horrible, horrible village. That horrible city. And, like, I don't know if that's the case for something like Salt and Sanctuary. And, like, it's not even because I dislike Salt and Sanctuary, because I don't. I really like Salt and Sanctuary. But I think there's just a thing that happens where, like, because I'm recording something, maybe even subconsciously, I'm like, I don't need to remember this. I've got a recording of it. You know? There's a backup somewhere. All right. Now, for fun, I'm just going to sprint as far as I can into Hagen uh, and just see where that gets me. And that'll be how I end the episode. And if I get my salt back, it'll be a miracle. But yeah, like, um, I'm trying to think of something that I play. Like, uh, Marathon. I still remember a lot of the areas of Doom. Like, I remember a lot of those nooks and crannies. Hager. Hager's Cabin. And I feel like part of that is because there are a lot of, like, nooks and crannies in Doom. What are you? What? What the hell? <laughs> wow, what is that thing? Um, what the hell? I'm going to do one more. But then I'll cut it. Um, yeah, like Marathon, like a, a very similar first-person shooter with the same sort of like technically faux 3D, but Doom has a little less 3D than Marathon. You know, still same sort of engine, same sort of style of play. And even like, um, both games have like a modding community that love to make maps for their game of choice. There's a war about which one is the best one. Oh, go up for Sanctuary. Angsty Bones Rib. A Sanctuary, of course. Alright, that feels like a much better place to, to stop the app. I'm feeling good about that. Chapital, capital D O D G O D good. Oh, and there's that thing. Trickster's Band and Stone Cleric. Look at that. Dex up. But I just feel as though, like, because I'm recording something, I just remember it inherently less good. Because on some level in my brain, I'm like, I don't need to remember it. I've got the recording. Like, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that is good. I feel like it overall does diminish my ability to rem remember stuff. Man, what the hell is that thing? Was that a weapon clang like in Devil May Cry? Don't you do this to me. Got him in an AI loop. I did it. Now, let's forget our lesson from the Naked Emperor. And let's go for the big boy, huh? Hateful Jawbone and the Armor Might Chitin. Armor Might? That thing is considered a might? I think you might have said it's a little too small. <laughs> yeah, normally mites are like tiny, like, they're bugs to bugs. Or they're like herd animals to bugs. Alright. Let's squeeze in one more. And let's call it. 
That feels good. Shorter episode than I normally would do, uh, but dinner was on the way. Uh, but I feel I feel good about my progress. I've been Alfred. This has been Salt and Sanctuary. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I hope you all have a good day. Bye.